So uh, what will the content from my session? First, I will discuss air scrubbing. It's about simple about chemical and biological uh, processes, the general principles. Uh, then the technology of our air scrubbing. How does it work? Uh, a short bit about a dealer quotation sheet. Uh, simple but very important on the sales process. And then I will start to uh, our products, which is the Porcus module, uh, the Polo air scrubber for poultry, uh, and then a session about uh, the built-in air scrubbers and a short bit about the dealer package. So what documentation is available. So first, why are we doing air scrubbing? Uh, air scrubbers in the agricultural business, they have been developed for removal of ammonia, NH3, uh, odor and dust. And dust, as you can see, are actually three things. It's the dust that you can see, like in a, in a chicken house, the thing that, that clogs your nose and makes you sneeze. But it's also the smaller particles. They're called PM2.5 and, and PM10, which is 2.5 and, and 10 microns. These are the very, very small particles that you can't see, which, which are related to certain lung diseases uh, and other health problems. So um, why is it important? Uh, first of all, ammonia removal is important to prevent acidification of the natural soils and eutrophication of open waters. Uh, when ammonia drops down into the soil, the soil will become too acid. It becomes toxic to most plants and the av uh, availability of necessary nutrients will decrease. That means there will be a lowering of plant production in farming systems. So less yields when you're producing wheat, for, so to say. Uh, and also a lowering uh, of the native biodiversity. And on the other hand, other plant species like lichen, moss types, they will grow more rapidly and just yeah, push out the, the normal plant life. And for water system, it's called eutrophication. And that means actually that too many uh, nutrients come into the water, which results, for example, in an excessive growth of algae, which will get you green water and which also um, yeah, pushes out uh, the normal biodiversity. So the, the small water animals and the plants that should grow in the water. For the removal of odor and dust, it becomes more important because more of the land is getting inhabited. That means farms and populated areas get closer and closer together. And yeah, simply uh, the neighbors don't like the smell. And on the other hand, the dust or the particulate matter has a negative impact on health. Uh, and therefore it should be reduced. So uh, partly the government demands that ammonia and dust uh, should be removed. It is getting more and more an issue. It's also the environmental organizations that we see are getting more, are getting louder and louder about this uh, to make sure that our planet will stay healthy. And of course, the local acceptance. The, the neighbors uh, don't really want to put you in an extra pig house or an extra poultry house when it, it, it's smelly. 